Kathy Easter has taken a high dose of vitamin D every day for the past four years, and she believes it's helped with her menopausal symptoms. I used to have probably hot flashes about every hour and got down to, the, now it's down to maybe once a day. It's usually first thing in the morning and that's it. As far as moods go, uh, no more mood swings, which of course re relate to menopause anyways. While it is possible that vitamin D did help relieve Easter symptoms, a new study finds that women who took lower doses of vitamin D combined with calcium had just as many symptoms as women who didn't take the supplements. We asked women about 20 different individual menopausal symptoms, such things as mood swings, hot flashes, sleep difficulties, headache, and energy. And we did not find differences on those individual symptoms or when we looked at groups of symptoms together. In other studies, vitamin D improved mood and muscle aches in women not going through menopause. So researchers thought there was a good chance the vitamin would also improve these symptoms in menopausal women. We were somewhat surprised, but there are caveats. The average age of women at the start of the study was 64, and by that time, the most severe symptoms of menopause have often subsided on their own. So the average age of menopause is around 51, and menopausal symptoms start a couple of years before menopause and can go a couple of years after menopause, but sort of peak around that time. The women in this study also took a fairly low dose of vitamin D, only 400 international units. It is possible that higher doses of vitamin D could help with menopausal symptoms, and I think that would be a really um, important study to do. But for now, LeBlanc says there's no evidence that vitamin D supplements help with hot flashes, sleep, mood, or other symptoms associated with menopause. Vitamin D does help to build bones, and it is recommended for older women at risk of falling. But some people get enough vitamin D through sunlight and the food they eat. Talk to your health care provider to find out if you need to take a vitamin D supplement. I'm Mary Sawyers reporting.